Hello guys, I am starting a new series. In this series, you will learn each and everything, whatever is required in your offices, colleges regarding Git and GitHub. Complete series will be there, which will completely teach you from scratch what is Git, why we need Git, complete use cases, all the function, everything, whatever is needed, you will learn from this complete series. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, we will understand what is Git. So Git is a free and open source distributed version control system. So it's written here also. But what does that mean in real thing, real world, real scenario? What does that mean? Here it is saying that Git is a free and open source. It is saying open source because Git is open source completely available free to all. Means you can download Git even if you are using any system, Windows, Linux, and any system means Windows, Linux, Mac, Ubuntu, whatever you are using, you can download it. Okay, so for this reason, it is open source and freely available to each and every person. Why it is called distributed version control? Distributed version control meaning we can easily distribute our projects and manage from different places. Let us, I will give you an example, you will understand it better. I am a person staying in Hyderabad. Let us assume my project colleague is staying in Karnataka. One more colleague is staying in Noida. So how we can work? To work in a single project, we need a some bridge connection between Noida, Bangalore and Hyderabad. So for creating this connection, we need some software. This software is created already by someone else that is Git. What Git helps is that it will help to collaborate among them like I can write the code whatever the task is assigned I will write my code I will push it to github and then whatever the task assigned to them they will also write and push it to the github then we will merge at last in the master branch so what I am telling git master branch you will not understand because I am assuming that you don't know about git and github so Whatever I said, we will merge and push to so where we will push and where we will merge. What is GitHub? So let's understand what is GitHub. So GitHub works as a server in between Git and our code. We need to store it somewhere. So GitHub is a place where we store our codes from where we can retrieve or we can take or we can check the versions, whatever is committed, all the data is managed by github so if you need to see i will just show you this project image generation ai this is a repository so whenever we are creating a file or a place you can understand in a server we will create a place that place will store our project file and that project file is known as repository image generation ai is the repository name and this is the repository where i am storing it so you can see all the commits it is showing seven commits so there are different versions also you can check so these are the committed version means it generate a hash code for it this is a hash code this is a hash code similarly whatever you will commit it will create a different hash code for it you can see initial commit i have committed it in june 4th so it is showing it here if i need to see the code i will just click on that and it will show me all the code whatever is written on that day okay so similarly whatever your friends or colleagues are writing all the things will be visually present here you can see it everywhere inside this one so one more thing is that about github we can create multiple branches let us assume your friend is working on payment integration you are working on animations some other person is working on charts so how you will merge whenever you will merge you will create maybe different branches or work on a main branch or a master branch so what is the benefit of creating multiple branches if i would say you that in a single place store three things at a single place so is it easy to manage or in a single place you will store different things like i will give you three means three places to store three different functionalities like chat will be stored on one place your other code means all the animation will store on one place your payment integration is stored will be in one place 
so if this three will be stored in different places it will be easy for you to manage so for that reason developers create multiple branches so that they can trace the code whatever they have written if they are testing on a particular code then they can if they have any bugs in payment integration so it's become easy for them to test but if all of them are combined in a single branch so it becomes a difficult situation that to handle the error to fix the bugs it becomes a difficult situation so for that reason we keep different or separated branches for separate functionalities and we can also trace the commits because different branch will have different commits means this and at last what we will do we will merge everything in the master branch which you can see it here it is a master branch and here all the different branches will be displayed but right now there is a single branch so i kept it as a master branch because i am the only person who is committing so i know what code is written where so these are all the things which is needed but one last thing is that i just explain you from this diagram uh, this is distributed version control this server which you can see this is the server is the github where we create the repository i give you an example that three friends from different places let us assume this workstation one is a friend he is in noida workstation two let us assume it's me i am in hyderabad workstation three it is one of my friend in bangalore so when we will work on a single project we will push it into a single repository or push it to push into a single means repository where multiple branches will be there so here you can see we are pushing it to the branches this is the branch repository we will work then we will push it to the main repository after pushing it to the branch then whoever will be the admin among three he have the access to push it into the main branch or the master branch we can say and once that pushing is done then the code will be updated in the master branch so you are thinking like what i am saying you may not be understanding some bit but with the videos in future videos which i am going to post in that videos if you it will be completely crystal clear because whatever i am saying when you will see that all in practical you will understand better so what i am saying push pull commit update repository all the things will be crystal clear to you so if this video is little bit beneficial or much more beneficial you can comment down in the comment box so that i will understand what is the things needed extra so that it will be good for you and uh, you can also suggest some videos if you need any coding related videos that i will surely make that's all for today guys thank you for watching